शूट है हाँ ठीक है अरे यार चुप कर एक्शन आह दिस इज लाइक अ होल मेस गाइस लाइक व्हाट द फक दे डिसाइड टू डू दिस वीडियो व्हाट दिस इज अमेजिंग फकिंग प्राउड ऑफ हिम माय लव लाइफ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग स्पीकिंग अबाउट दिस आई गॉट टू डू दिस ओके बिकॉज़ माय लव लाइफ इज अ मेस ओके व्हाई आई एम प्रोफेशनल वाइज ओके हेल्स आई एम वर्किंग ऑन इट सो जस्ट इन टू पीसेस दिस इज लाइक द ओनली थिंग दैट आई स्टिल हैव I don't want to do anything about it, and I ended up winning Splits Villa. So the only things that I got from Splits Villa season 14 is. I have a winner of Splits Villa season 14. Splits Villa. No, that was a bad joke because actually this vlog can have been just raw, emotional, and just me telling you the bad story of me winning. MTV Splits Villa 14. I want to do it to share the bad story with you and share especially the emotional part that sometimes break us but make us stronger. Obviously it's hard work but I'm going to share with you the bad story. I've done the rodies scene 18 uh South Africa and I developed the liking for an ex story. Sadly or maybe fortunately this love story ended up before everything started. Um I don't want to speak about the reasons but it was a little bit heartbreaking but guess what it was a bad thing that happened for a good reason because I ended up being single and you got to be single to go on Spice Villa because I mean it's a dating reality show So I have been called to the office they was like okay so this we so you in on these and we like you We think that you might be a good fit for the season of Spice Villa, so you wanna come give an audition. At that time, I was still in the hospital because I got dengue, so I was so weak emotionally and physically. I got discharged the next day, and I went straight to the office. I was like, you cannot even like walk properly. How will you like give an audition? So I was like, just go, give it, and check however it will go. I went, and then the people that have seen me go, they was like, "What? Why do you look so pale? You have lost weight. What happened?" And I explained them that I've been in hospital for ten days. They got dengue, and I just got the stars. Like yesterday, they were like, "Are you serious? You just like just go back home and then rest, and maybe you can like try for next season." I said, "No, no, no. I want to give the audition." So I gave the audition, and yet again they liked my personality, and they thought that I might be a good fit for the season. But they were like, "We are a little bit confused because actually physically you don't look that strong, and the season have a lot of like challenges that are very hard, and we are not sure you can like make it." I was like, "You know what? Give me one week. I'm gonna focus on my health and on my physical strength, and then I'm gonna get back to you." Was, okay, D D. I went home. I hired the D D. Okay, a cook. Then I got like a proper diet uh, and I focused on my health. After one week, I went and I gave again an audition. And they were like, "Okay, we love like this determination, this motivation. We are taken. You are taken for this season." Then I was not happy because. I was happy, but like half happy, not happy because guess what? My visa was ended, and at that moment, I was totally at my weakest moment because I had more than ten lakhs taxes to pay in Paris for my job the last year. Then I was not getting any jobs. I was not getting any big opportunities. I was done from doing modeling and ads, and it felt that I'm just an object. I'm not where. I didn't reach where I wanted to reach in the span of seven months. Then I was like, you know what? Go back to Paris, apply for a visa. I did that. I packed my stuff, my bag. I left my house. Um, I like uh, called off my contract with the owner, and I went to Paris. I applied for the visa. Can't like reject it the first time. I cried. Then I applied after one week. Rejected. Then I was like totally okay. Maybe this is a sign. Maybe I should just go back to my corporate job and just go back to my old life. But then 
I said no, something in my heart, something in my brain is telling me just try. So I called Mohan's Jatana. She was close to me at that time, and I was crying. I was like, listen, I got like splits, but my visa is getting rejected. I cannot go back to India. She was like, let's do something. Let's just like apply for the third time. And maybe it will happen. If it happens, that means the split is meant for you. If it doesn't happen, that you know what you gotta do. So I applied. I like compiled all my photo shoots, my contracts, my collabs with the brand that I ever done, like in Paris, in India. My actor workshop that I took in India, and I gave them. And I was like, guys, please like make this happen. Give me a work working visa because I need this. I don't know what happened, but in a span of three uh, days, I received my visa, and it's my sister waking me up and like, okay, you got your passport. And I was not excited because I felt it was gonna be third rejection. I was like, wow, this is not just six months visa. This is one year working visa. I jumped next day. I um, took a flight to India because this villa was about to start. Um, I reached Bliss Villa, we are in Goa, we are in the Isle of Venus, there is no guys, I'm just meeting the girls and the first thing that hit me up is like, fuck, I signed for a dating reality show, this is not rookies, this is not just like a body parenting and challenges, it's dating, I'm gonna Im get involved like emotionally again and maybe, okay, cut, <coughs> you cut it? But I was like, just do it, just be genuine, be honest about how you feel and whatever happens after the show, we will deal with it. We always like deal with so many shits in life. So, Sundus, you got your back. And the moment arrived where we went to the Isle of Mars, where we had to meet the boys, okay. I met all of them, I'm like, okay, this guy, okay, this, this, this. Then I saw Hamid. Then after 10 minutes of speaking and then dancing, because the dancing part was the moment that broke the ice, I was like, oh, I think I found a connection here and maybe it's gonna lead to something cute, maybe a love relationship. Okay, we had to take a break because uh, what's coming next is like a huge bomb and I didn't want to play this a pretty card. Okay, wait, I'm gonna like sit in a very comfortable situation. So I um, I knew that I'm going for a dating reality show and I knew that I had to make a connection where I would like get involved emotionally, okay, physically this part. How many times did you make up with Hamid on the show? More than 10 times. Oh, she answered it! Oh my god! Okay, more than 10 times. I mean, I didn't give a count. There you go. So, I was not sure if I should give it like my 100% with my connection, obviously, having. But guess what? Uh, after we ended the show, and after just one week, I came to know, not even like from him, that he's dating someone. So, I don't know if I should like laugh at this or like cry, but my mom taught me to never cry over a man. Anyway guys, uh, I don't know how to portray it because I don't want to harm anyone's image. At the end, I don't have any grud grudges against him. <laughs> other promises the only thing that we told each other on the finale that okay we do like each other we spend good time okay i'm gonna speak about myself because i don't know actually i don't trust anyone i did like him generally and i didn't give him any promise he didn't give me any promise first day we didn't have any calls second day SAC. so i sent him a long message saying that i'm really grateful that i met you thank you for being that kind of partner na, 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 na. and he replied with a very like friendly note so i understood that something is cooking so obviously i went and i met people and i tried to come over space because it was exhausting mentally but when i knew that he was dating i was like bro okay going on dates meeting people it's okay but to date you gotta be like involved emotionally it's a commitment but to answer all of your comments guys because a lot of dms or comments on my youtube channel like 
What are you, you and Hannah? We are nothing, okay? We are maybe friends, we are work colleagues. Mm, now the lifts of emotion gonna like drop because the production called me and they're like, so this we need to speak to you. I was like, what's going on? Did I do something? Did I see something? What happened? So they locked me in a room and they were like, we are sorry, but we got like bad news from your family and actually you lost your grandmother. He's like, so what do you want to do? Do you want to like quit the show or do you want to like continue? What, like, are you okay? You want to speak to them? I was like, I don't want to speak to my mom. He's like, what? I was like, yeah, tell her, let's go for a task. And actually, it just um, clicked in my mind that, my God, I lost like, my grandmother, the person with whom I spent my whole childhood, the one that gave me her blessing before going to split, that the ones, like the blessing that I didn't even get from my mom. So it was, okay, I don't want to cry. So it was very heartbreaking for me, but I was like, you know what, this sadness, this anger in me, and this um, feeling of, of guilt, because I was like, are you like really serious? You're going on a reality show dating and your grandmother died. Are you like even are you like even aware of the situation where you're like, yeah, but this is for me bigger than a dating reality show. This is like something bigger and she knows this and she sends me like her blessings. So I'm sure that like whatever she is, she's I think she's guiding me and she's watching over me. So I told them that Okay guys, let's go and I was like, okay, I'm gonna put all these emotions into the task because I need to win this, you know, it's like the first step towards the finale, even the finale was there, I was looking at the finale as the last stone and the first stone was winning this challenge. So I, and then I went back to my room and this is where like I like I broke down, you know, I broke down and I told Akashina, I was like, Akashina, you don't tell anyone this should stay between us because I don't want uh, the sympathy of people to be like, oh my God, she lost one of her family's member and not anyone, it's like my grandma, like my mom. I didn't want that, you know, and I wanted to be on an equal page with everyone. It's not because she's going through a hard moment that we should not be harsh on her, you know, so I cried a lot and I looked at myself and I was like, damn girl, you're so strong because you have never been through this, you know, losing someone, being 20,000 kilometers from for your family and at the same time working and going on a task and then winning it. I just like look at myself and I was like, I don't know who you are, so those, but like I'm proud of you. And I took one paper and I wrote, Today, you are the winner of this will last season 14. It's like a kind of affirmation, manifestation that I wrote. And I just wrote that paper and I gave it to one of the producers and I was like, listen, you can read this, but just keep it with you. And okay, let's go on some fun parts, okay? Because that was so emotional and I don't want to cry because I want you guys to have like a fun moment and learn from this video. I made sure I wrote all the details so I don't forget anything. So now, uh, the game started. Everyone wanna see you breaking down, but you gotta like, you know, wash your face and put your head in the game because you came here to win and you just wrote that in that washroom. So we gotta work on that because it's not coming easy and the hard work should be put in. So I started brainstorming, obviously with myself, not with my connection. And I had three main plans. So my strategy in the game that everyone was calling dirty game uh, uh, player. Now I'm gonna speak about it. First point for me was ah, don't speak to me. First point is that my friends in the villa, Agashina, Pema, I would say Shreya also. These three people should make a connection with Habe's friends. Why? Because my priority should be the same as Hamid's priority. Because if in a connection the boy is Hamid's friend and the girl is my friend, so no, we don't not have any problem in the dumping. So that was the first point. Check. Second point that people bash me off about is that 
So those you never choose your own people to play the task with them as all. I'm not choosing my friends because if I choose my friends to play with me and I lose, then both of us are losers. Then who will like who will save us in the dumping? I make sure that at every task, every challenge, I'm not playing with my friends and I'm not taking them in my team. Why? In case I lose, they are winning. And if they win, their priority is obviously me. So they're gonna save me. So either I'm winning and saving them, either they are winning and saving me. Second point, check. The third point, which is very important and that people never understood, okay? So at that point in the game, everyone knew that I was playing my game and they know that damn, if Sundus gets the power, she gonna kick some asses out of the game like straight, okay? So they never sent me to the Oracle. But guys, to become an ideal match is super cute, super great because you get the validation that you are two lovers. But we all know that the real ideal match, you will know about it once you are out of the show. So what the Oracle really gives you is the power the power of being safe and saving others so i wanted that power but there is two ways that people didn't think about either you get the power by becoming an ideal match or by letting your friends become an ideal match because if they have to save someone obviously they're gonna save you so you guys not making me an ideal match wasn't a big deal my only concern was to make my friends an ideal match which happened with Akashi and Kashish, which happened with Bema and Amir, and which happened again with Moose and Hani. And all of these people, when they become an ideal match, they save me. Point. Check. Anyway, uh, besides all of this, uh, people gonna say that, yeah, maybe if you won, you won because of your game plans and you were not strong. Let me tell you that the day of the finale, it's a day that determines who is the winner only by the performance, only by the task. There is no dumping, there is no votes, there is no she's my mom, he's my dad, he's my bro, my cousin. You perform, you win. And this is what happened. I performed and I won. And the best thing that I love about the finale is that it's the same task, but the girl gotta do it alone and the boy gotta do it alone. So it was fair. So it's not like having the, the like hardest part and I did the easiest part. We did the same thing. And for a reason, I even finished before him. At the end, it's a teamwork. And my manifestation made it till the end. Today, I can call myself Sontos Mufakir, the winner of Squid's Villa season 14. Okay guys, you might be wondering why am I doing this video? To make you closer to the picture because you look at me as the winner of Splitzilla and this glam bitch on Instagram but you don't know like the hard work behind it, the emotional part behind it with my connection with my family, the um, health breakdown that I went through. Uh, fake it till you make it happen. It's what I did by manifesting that I'm gonna win. I just wrote it on a paper which is was fake but I make sure I'm gonna make it happen. Put in the hard work, put your heart in it, your motivation, be focused, don't lose your focus. Like me going on a dating show, meeting someone that I love, that I like, but that didn't distract me from the bigger picture, from the biggest, like the big prize, which is winning. So I want you to do the same thing. Your dream is here, put in the hard work, go towards it, but at the same time, enjoy your journey towards that dream. Oh, someone is calling at this time of the day. Yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Wait, this is important for me. This is like my digital family. I will go. Okay. Guys, I have to go because we're having the live screening of the finale of Splits Villa season 14. And you gotta go to watch this with me because it's important to take it with me at every step. Love you. We've been together and very, very, very well deserved, guys. Very well deserved. Hey, so I'm sure you have some boys. Guys! They don't get that. They don't touch them. What about you? All right, let's go.
Ve se başlasın, aşı girecek. Çöbek 